Hello. What a great film. I found it absolutely staggering that these children would be going to, uh, to a, a Legion event and march the way they do and have such a militaristic um, experience like that. It was kind of stunning to me, um, but I guess it's been going on a long while. Uh, how did you find out about it? Uh, we uh, read about the program in the Washington Post. We hadn't gone through it as young people, so it was a discovery for us. It felt like an artifact from the 1950s, as you say, it's sort of old-fashioned militarism and patriotism feel like a, a leftover from a previous century. But, you know, we discovered pretty quickly that there's also an aspect of the program which is very much of the moment. I think you see that in the film. It's really got a 21st century um, dimension to it. And um, that's why also voices like Stephen, a young man of Mexican descent, Renee, who's African-American, these are guys who have very uh, progressive politics. They're coming into a world that is more conservative, more white. And watching them negotiate that space and, and um, come to power is, I think, the story of our age, of our moment. And I think we did see that play out at Texas Boys State in a really interesting way. And, uh, and it was so dramatic. Um, these, these boys, like older teenagers, they were so incredibly engaged in what they were doing. And it was interesting to see the the variations on, on the interpretation of what was moral and and, and what was not. Um, mm -hmm. Do you find that surprising? What was moral and what was not? They're sort of the boys negotiating. Oh, them. I mean, they're seventeen, so I think they're also at that sort of perfect point for this kind of investigate. I mean, for us to be taking a. a checking in because they're sort of on their way, leaving their homes, going out into the world to be adults in their own um, right. And uh, so I, I think there's a certain amount that they have internalized of the adult state around them and the politics in Washington they see and consume either through the news or in whatever social media they engage with. Um, and then we happened to pick four people that we knew could also interested us because they did think for themselves as um and, and and to watch them struggle in the ways that i can imagine i might struggle um going through that program and making choices of you know how badly do you win and can you win um or not win on a minority opinion as robert says and also i found it incredibly like a movie, there were very clear uh, heroes and villains. And I mean, you know, Roger Stone wouldn't say that one of the boys I'm thinking of was a villain, but it was just astonishing to me. And yet um, the other boys who, who were more progressive and compassionate, they just shone like stars. You know? So it's very interesting to see how it, how it played out. Um, now, if, if obviously these were two extremes, but I'm sure that you found a lot of, um, as I noticed in the film, a lot of uh, movement. The conservatives weren't quite extreme. They were open on a couple of issues that were surprising. Now that seemed um, hopeful. I think that's right. You have movement both on, on the part of this electorate, which is predominantly white and conservative, to be summoned by someone like Stephen Garza, who has very progressive politics, who's been inspired by Bernie Sanders. Stephen comes in wanting to work with and talk to the other side, and he's able to do that by presenting himself in a very kind of honest, um, unvarnished way. He's um, has a, a clearly a lot of integrity and patriotism, but I think in, in the best way. Um, and he summons their better angels, their better selves. That's one of the great surprises of the film and a surprise that gives us hope. And I think accounts for uh, what you describe as sort of the movie-like kind of drama of the movie, which is it constantly surprises us. Look, life surprises us. It's just capturing that life and its surprises is sometimes challenging and documentary. And um, it was exciting for us to make a movie that was unpredictable, that, that made us cry, that made us laugh, that took turns, you know, this way and that way. And I think it really that's due to finding 
a cast, real people who are um, ambitious and surprising and learning as we go. And they're at a very transformative moment, as Amanda said, in their lives. And we, we're lucky to catch them in that transform transformation. Well, very well done. What an achievement. Thank you so much. Thanks, Anne. We appreciate Thank it. Take care. <laughs>